this is phil from this side the topic of today is logarithm of number greater than one what is logarithm logarithm of a number is the power to which 10 is raised to give that number what do i mean let's say we have 1000 if you are asked to get logarithm of 1000 to base 10 we know 1000 is 10 to power 3 the logarithm of 1000 is simply 3 this is just the definition as well if you are asked to get logarithm of 100 we know 100 is 10 to power 2 therefore logarithm of 100 is equal to 2 this is why the definition that logarithm of a number is the power to which 10 is raised to give that number let's continue okay before we go into solving problems in logarithm we need to know what characteristics and mantis are is because it's combination of two of them that gave us logarithm now let's use an example to explain let's say we are given 2 4 6 8 and we are asked to get the logarithm of this number first of all you need to begin by getting the characteristics how do you get characteristics characteristics is just one less than the number of digits that are appeared and the whole number of the number you are looking for it logarithm what do i mean we have first digit second digit third digit and fourth digit so the characteristics is going to be three points this other part now take us to what we call man teaser how do we get it we get it from logarithm table let's go to logarithm table now this is the logarithm table this is the number column it ran from 10 to 99 if you go down then this column from 0 to 9 is the column the numbers you are looking for fall under when we do it you see what i mean then this is the difference part what makes up the number the missing thing or something you take to add to it to complete it okay remember we are looking for logarithm of 2468 how are you going to get it you are going to check for 24 under 6 difference 8 okay this is what i mean quickly go to 24 under the first column this is 24 follow the line to column 6 if you trace it this is the column 6 which is 3909 then you are going to get what the number under difference 8 is giving you to add to it difference 8 is this one is giving 14 you put it here 14 you add everything this one gives us 13 3 you take one you put here two nine three this becomes the man teaser of the logarithm of number we are looking for let's go back to our solution okay from what we did using logarithm table we are able to get the man teaser to be point three nine two three let's get the explanation now the combination of this and this will now give you what we call logarithm this becomes the logarithm of this number again before you fully understand how to solve and get the actual answer of any number using logarithm table you also need to learn how to get the anti-logarithm let's jump into anti-logarithm and learn how to do it anti-logarithm has its own table let's still use the same number let's say 2468 remember from what we did before now we got the logarithm to be 3.3923 okay now you are going to look for the anti-logarithm of this then the answer you get will now become your normal answer that will be this side under the column of number how do you get the anti-logarithm of any number you don't begin from this three which is the characteristics you begin from point something something as in you are going to look for point 39 under two different three let's jump into anti-logarithm and explain it more better we are looking for the anti-logarithm of 3.3923 how are we going to do it remember this one now is characteristics it has nothing to do here we're going to look for point 39 under two different three okay let's explain this table now like we did before this is the numbers all the mantisas fall under this one now is the number part as in the decimal part because we are talking about logarithm here and this is the difference that make up the complete number now let's do it we are looking for point 39 under two different three you quickly go down and look for point 39 this is point 39 under 2 this is the column 2 this is 0 1 2 to 9 point 39 under 2 it gives us 2 4 6 6 you write it down 2 4 6 6 difference 3 this difference 3 if you go up you see 
one two three the difference three is two you add it up if you add it you have eight six four two this becomes the antilogarithm you are looking for now go back to your solving and effect it with these characteristics now from what we got from the antilogarithm we got 24 68 okay how do you now implement these characteristics to effect the number you've gotten with characteristics the way you do it is you count in addition to the characteristics as in since it is three here you're going to count four digit numbers what i mean is you're going to count this is one two three then four which means your dot is supposed to come here but since there is no other number after the eight we might actually remove the dots to leave it to be 2468 this is how you get your antilogarithm if you can check this still gives us the same thing here now let's continue to solving problem as we continue we might still do one more logarithm and one more antilogarithm then now show how to solve problems with all the strings okay under this logarithm of number greater than one we have multiplication we have division we have power we have root now let's begin with multiplication the question says evaluate this using logarithm table okay solution i prepared this to help us understand how you are going to solve this logarithm is bring these numbers and align them under the column of number as they came remember it was multiplication so bear in mind there is multiplication here this is being multiplied by this how are you going to do it you are going to go to the log table again and get these numbers but before write out their characteristics then go to the logarithm and get their values characteristics of this remember this is whole number 34 other ones are decimal so the characteristics remember we said is one less than the number of digits of the whole number which is you are having one point as your characteristics let's now go into logarithm table and get this value let's use this one to throw more light now remember we are looking for logarithm of 34.83 how are you going to do this one you are going to quickly go to 34 under 8 difference 3 if you come here this is 34 go to the 8 column is giving us 54 16 you write it 54 16 then get what different three gives you different three is giving us four you put it under the last digit this 10 you put one here add the remainder to this then bring down the other ones this becomes the mantis of the logarithm of number we are looking for let's go back to our solution okay from the logarithm table we got the mantis of this part to be 54 two zero as well let's do this one the characteristics of this is is just one digit it will be zero point then if you still go to the logarithm table you are going to get it to be seven three four six one thing about logarithm when you have multiplication you add their logs when you have division you subtract okay let's continue with this one first this multiplication is telling us that we have to add this to this okay if you add this together you are going to get 2.2766 now to finish this calculation you need to look for the antilogarithm what it gives you you write it this side if you go to antilogarithm table and check point 27 under 6 difference 6 from what we've learned you'll be getting 1891 then effect it with characteristics is 2 here you are going to count 3 places 1 2 3 the point comes in here this becomes the answer if you use the calculator to check this this multiply by this you get this answer if not point something high it will be point something less let's still continue into division okay number two division okay we are asked to evaluate 4663 divided by this using logarithm table solution just write them down like we did previously get their characteristics the characteristics of this one is three is four digits so it's one less than that's the three there this one is 97.76 the characteristics is one point if you go to logarithm table you check 46 under six different three it will give you six six eight seven as well if you still go to logarithm table and check 97 under seven different six you'll be having nine nine zero two they are dividing each other this one is being divided by this so it's subtraction it will now be this minus this okay if you subtract this from this you are going to have 1.6785 now quickly go and look for the antilogarithm of this to get your answer that will be here if you go to antilogarithm table you are going to look for 0 0.67 under a difference 5 just like we've learned it you'll be getting the answer to be 4769 
then effect it with the characteristics we have one as characteristics here you are going to count two places four and seven then you put your dot here this becomes your answer let's continue into another one this one is power this is 452.3 to power 3 how it is done is this power is always multiplying whatever the logarithm of this gives when you get the answer we now look for the anti-logarithm okay i've written it here what's the characteristics is two points then if you go to logarithm and look for 45 under 2 different 3 you'll be having 6554 remember i told you you multiply it with whatever the power is which is times 3 if you multiply it you are having the answer to be 79662 don't forget the point here you are having 7.9662 okay quickly go to anti-logarithm table and get what the anti-logarithm of this point 96 under 6 different 2 is okay from the anti-logarithm we are having 9251 then let's effect it with this 7 remember we are counting in addition of 1 we are now having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 what is this giving us now 92 million 510 thousand becomes your answer let's quickly jump into another one okay we are asked to solve this using logarithm table mathematically when a number is in square root you can as well write it this way to be this what is this telling us that this is this this becomes now x to power 1 over 2 okay when you get the logarithm of this number it's either you divide it by 2 or you multiply it by 1 over 2 they are all the same thing now the characteristics of this number is what is two points if you go to logarithm table look for 22 under 0 you will have this value 3 4 2 4 don't forget what we did here you can say times 1 over 2 or you can equally say this is divided by 2 they are all the same thing this gives you 1.1712 now go to anti-logarithm to convert this to number from the anti-logarithm we have 1482 now if we effect it with this characteristics it becomes remember it's one in addition you count one two it will become this when you are talking about anti-logarithm this becomes your answer okay having come this far let's now solve this problem this combination of both multiplication division power and root it will help us learn how to solve problem using logarithm table even if they are complicated they said given cube root of this first numbers in bracket divided by 74 all of them is to power 2 they are all under the cube root of 3 the question is solve using logarithm table i root this ones out here 19.63 times 12.28 we have here so first of all express their characteristics which is one point this one is also one point okay go to logarithm table like we've learned it look for 19 under c is different sorry if you look for it you are going to have 2930 as we are doing the same here 12 under 2 difference 8 you are going to have 0892 remember two of them are multiplying each other what you are going to do is you add them if you add these two together you are going to have 2.3822 now go to this 74 bring it down 74 remember this whole thing is being divided by that 74 so still look for it logarithm express it in logarithm characteristics is one the logarithm will give you a 692 is division it means the upper minus this one quickly you do it this upper minus this down one you have 0. 5130 this is zero please okay i want you to get something here now remember we've resolved this ones in bracket divided by this but one thing i want you to notice that all of them are in bracket which means the whole answer they are giving will be multiplied by two if you multiply it by two we are going to have 1.0260 now we'll continue with this what i'm going to do with this remember after they we are all raised to power two all of them we are also under the cube root what is this telling us we are still going to divide this answer by three if we divide it by three we are having 0 0.3420 uh, this is what we are now going to look for its anti-logarithm remember how we did it this ones after getting their logarithm you added them you got this you brought in this one that divided them got logarithm subtracted from the up one it gave you this remember all of them were raised to power two you multiply by that two it was raised to after doing it you got this remember also they were under cube root you divided by three now got this finally look for the anti-logarithm of this what it gives you 
becomes your answer we'll now go and look for antilogarithm of point three four under two different zero we'll have two one nine eight characteristics zero you count just one here yeah. this becomes the answer of this whole thing now let's do another problem maybe conclude with it we are given this problem evaluate all these numbers as they are placed here using logarithm number so first of all i address the numerators as this characteristics of this is one point characteristics of this one is equally one point characteristics of this one is zero point so from the logarithm table we are going to have this one to be seven four five one this one will give 3104 remember when you look for 20 under 4 different 4 this one is 55 under 6 different 0 then this last one will give us 3292 and they are all multiplying each other which means we are going to add all of them if they are all added we are going to have 3.3847 quickly bring down this one that is dividing all of them 74.1 remember it's dividing all of them the characteristics is one if you look for the logarithm 74 under one different zero which is 8698 remember there is no different zero so you won't see any difference there it will give you this since this is dividing all of them it means this upward minus this down if you do the subtraction you are going to have 1.5149 look for the antilogarithm of this one what it gives you becomes the answer remember you are going to look for 51 under 4 difference 9 if you check it you will be having 3273 now the characteristics is 1 you are going to count two places 3 2 we put it here that's 1 2 this becomes your answer as we conclude with this problem, hope you've known how to solve logarithm of problem greater than 1. Join me in the next class as we look into logarithm of numbers less than 1.